Hello, everyone. Poor Painting with Mary Romero here. My first video to share with you. And I'm going to attempt my very first split pour cup. Okay, I just got these from Amazon. This is just a 8 by 10 cheapo wrapped canvas, actually, because this is going to be an experiment for me. So and I do want my colors to go um, down the sides, so I'm not going to tape my, my back or my sides. I'm going to try a black and white. And what I am actually doing is I'm going to be testing out these Arteza, let me move my cup, Arteza paint pour, pouring colors. I don't see it's backwards, but um, the first attempt I did with these was a complete fail. Um, and Arteza graciously sent me some new ones to uh, try again. And they come in these two ounce bottles, which is my only issue at this point, uh, because you know when you're doing a, a paint pour, um, or any type of, type of acrylic pour, you need a lot of paint. So um, they did include Three, let's see, four bottles of the titanium white and let's see, I, two bottles of the Mars black. So I'm going to be attempting a black and white mm -hmm. split four cup with Arteza acrylic pour paints. So here's my cup, and as I said, I just got these on Amazon because I couldn't figure out how to get one to do a split just doing it on my own, and I didn't want to mess up my, get my paints all muddied together. So these say not to add anything to your paints, but when I did it the first time, it just kind of was muddy, and the paints didn't really flow together well so I'm actually going to add some silicone just a couple drops to the black and the white and I've got the um, treadmill silicone I believe I got that on Amazon as well um, okay I'm going to go ahead and if you if you're so used to this and you don't want to see me just add these to the cup feel free to fast forward but that's the whole purpose of these is you don't have to do any mixing you just pour so I'm going to give these just a little bit of a shake since they've been they were cold in my um, mailbox and then still kind of cold sitting in my house so we're not going to need much paint for this what I am going to do is use my own mix of white, which is just acrylic, Artist Loft acrylic white and Floetrol and a little bit of water to thin. So I am going to use this on my edges just so that the paint moves well. Um, and we'll see if this actually does anything to the... Um, Arteza paints. So, where I know I'm doing this on my phone, and I know this looks really cockeyed, and I apologize for that. Um, until I can invest in something that's going to be a little more stable for my to make the videos, um, this is what I have to deal with. So I'm just going to get my edges here, and I want to welcome you all. I'm, I'm really excited um, to start making some videos for all of you. Uh, I've been doing paint pouring for a while now, and I 
must say my first love is probably um, resin pours. So, um, I, but I do like to try it out with a, a paint pour first. And then if I like it, I'll switch to resin. And you do get a totally different effect, but um, at least I'm not wasting a ton of resin. But I do also resin my paints my paintings after I have finished them so um, that's what I do to uh, preserve those so here's my cup I've got my edges and I will fix those up as we go along so here is the Mars black I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not even gonna squirt it I'm just gonna pour this one bottle if I can get it open into my cup. You know, they seal these so well, um, even adults can't get in them. So one side I'm going to go ahead with black. You can see how that pours out. It seems to be... I'll, I'll give it a little stir to see what the consistency is like, but... Um, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and use one whole bottle of the black. Well, I'll use it. There's a little line on the cup, and I'll use it up to the line. And hopefully we'll have enough paint. And then we're going to go with the titanium white Arteza. There goes another. well it's gonna get together anyway um, okay I'm gonna attempt use this whole thing up to that line you know what I'm gonna go ahead with the whole bottle just not that much more And then I will probably turn this bottle upside down, use whatever's left in that in another pour. Let me get the rest of this black out of here. Yeah, that's pretty even. Pretty even, Steven. Okay. Now... I'm going to get, show you the consistency of these paints. Okay, this. Here's the white. If you can see that, it's a little... It doesn't leave really much of a mound. If you can see that. In fact, you can't even see it. It's dripping off my stick, but... There's the white. Let's look at the black, see if these are the same consistency. That's the other thing, is you want to have your paints the same consistency. So I'm assuming, but you know what they say about assuming. Um, don't assume that these are all going to be the same consistency. So, But they do, these two do look like the same. They're not really leaving a mound, but there's, you can tell they're not real drippy either. But I am going to add a um, drop of silicone. I don't want to get too many drops in there. They're okay. Here we go. I'm going to go one, two, one, two. Whoop, that was kind of a drip, but okay. Let me get a paper towel. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this. See how this works. And I'm actually going to try and turn it a little bit. I've been watching some other really wonderful um, paint pourers. And they tend to turn their cup a little bit as they're doing their 
ring pour. Ooh. I'm hoping that this does not go gray on me. And you don't want all your, I personally don't want all my black in one spot or all my white. So that's why I'm going ahead and turning this cup. So far, so good. Getting some nice rings. Hazardly there, so we'll see what happens. This looks like each bottle might be just enough. So two bottles for this is eight by ten canvas. Get a nice little ring in the middle there. Okay. As you can see, we're looking pretty black and white. Now let's see what happens when we tilt. We're going to go around in a circle. Try and keep those rings nice. And I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. Um, since this is my attempt and it's with my phone, so I do apologize if I tend to get out of focus or out of your view. But this is actually looking pretty good so far. I'm going to go to that corner. And I'm going to bring this back to the center. The center is looking kind of funky. But it actually, if you look at it, kind of looks like a rose. I kind of like that so far. Now let's go to this corner. Uh, and maybe I'll come. No, let's go down here. I don't want to lose all my black. But there, we're just going to touch it. There we go. And I don't, I'm going to touch this black up a little bit there. There we go. Let's bring it back to the center. So I'm glad if you've chosen to join me today. It is Sunday, quiet Sunday. Wow, I'm kind of liking this. Um... Let's go down to this corner. It's keeping the rings very nicely so far. Let's bring this back to the corner. I don't like that it's getting so stretched out, really. Um, but if we can keep the black and white on either side, I'll be happy. kind of cool and just yeah kind of want to get that far corner I know it's meant to be white but I would like a little bit of black in there so we got to bring this back to the middle anyway and I think it's looking good so far some of that off. Okay, yeah, I kind of like that. Let me get some edges here. Oh, it looks super nice going over the edges, but noticing here, get some black. Yeah. Oh shoot, I just put a drop in there. This is not holding on to the edge of the canvas. I'm wondering if 
if it's because of the canvas or the paint. I am not sure, so let's try this. This side looks okay. This side I'm getting a little funky. It looks almost like a tree in the middle there. Like the tree of life. Can you see that? Can you see that? Mess it up by putting a little drop there. Right here. So I am going to take my skewer and try to fix that. I'm going to grab a little bit of black. Fix that up. Black. Fix this up. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Fix that little blob. And then I'll take the skewer. And straighten out that line. That's pretty good. Let me get some light. I just mixed in my black. Try and fix this line. going to continue to move a little bit anyway. So, I'm not too worried about that. Let me just bring it down. Okay, so, so far, I'm actually starting to see some cells, so let me give it a little torch. They say not to do this with these Arteza paints, but, but gosh darn, I want some cells. Let me give some little interest here. So I just have my little torch. See that? Got that off of eBay as well. Give a little bit of torch in here. Not much. Okay. See if we get any more cells to pop up. Not much popping up in the black, but there's quite a few popping up in the white. Which is actually starting to turn gray, and which is what I did not want. But, and I don't like that corner in there. Let me fix that. See, there's something that, it must be this cheap canvas I'm using. That they're not, the color's not staying there. But, this is a test, so it's all good. will do it for this test. I'm going to be doing a couple more um, techniques with this. The corner just doesn't want to stay there, does it? Um, but I do thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to sending you more videos. I hope you have a blessed day, 
and an even happier new year. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.